that really brings us to the kind of, you know, uh, final thoughts that I would like to bring up from all our discussions and here. And with this said, I would like to uh, 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 start with you, Catherine, because you just heard about so many variable new therapies. At the same time, you nicely uh, in, in explained to us and uh, tried to clarify to us the necessity of looking at the liver per se. But uh, what do you learn from this? Now it's 2018. Like, wh what do you learn from all of this information? To me, the most important thing to remember through all of this is that this is a multidisciplinary disease management that we need to have, especially as we're talking about all these different new systemic therapies and fig trying to figure out where they're gonna fall in the treatment of the patient. I, I liked how Anthony had said, uh, you know, developing the treatment plan for the patient. This isn't a, oh, hi, how are you? Here's your taste. Okay, here's some seraphinib. We really need to talk about a treatment plan, and that really needs to involve all of the different specialists so that we can really have the best outcomes for our patients. And nicely said, nicely said. I totally agree. Anthony, your thoughts? Well, it's exciting time. Uh, and it's exciting time for the field, but it's also most important that we're seeing more benefit for patients uh, for this difficult disease that's, that's again rising in incidence. Um, I think we have a responsibility though as, as physicians in different specialties to really come together even more and really try and understand where the benefit of our various therapies starts and ends. Uh, how do we use them more appropriately in the different stages of the disease? How do we combine them? Uh, now that we have options, the responsibility has become higher. Uh, so we, we just have to do this. This is what I see as, as the next challenge for us in, in, the, in the disease. The other, the other aspect, I think we have more responsibility in biomarker development. You touched on that. There are certain clinical parameters that we may learn may influence our choices over time, uh, like AFP and etiology, et cetera. But uh, I think also molecular biomarkers are going to be important in the future because as we get more therapies, we want to be a bit smarter about giving the right drug to the right patient. Easier said than done, I understand, but it certainly should be a goal. And that requires uh, actually patients to also be willing to undergo biopsies and, and, and to have tissue studies. Very nicely said. Ruth, uh, any final thoughts or comments? Yeah, so as the team has, uh, has the group has mentioned a couple of times that this is really two disease, HCC and cirrhosis liver failure. Um, so I think uh, also attention should be put on how to preserve the liver function and look at the real liver toxicities of each treatment modalities and really come up with a strategy that would cause tumor shrinkage, long-term disease control, and without hurting the liver. No, that's very important. If anything, from uh, we are, you heard from all of us in regard to the a critical importance of the uh, uh, multidisciplinary team approach that's necessary to make sure that we help benefit uh, the patients to, to the best possible. We also heard about the point of Dr. Query in regard to the need for the biomarkers. If anything, the good news is that uh, we are currently uh, doing a uh, effort globally in regard to collect tissue from different cohorts of patients in regard to specific etiology, specific ethnicity, and uh, specific uh, 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 other uh, defined aspects and try to understand it from the DNA, RNA, and protein level and try to analyze that data accordingly and decide who will benefit most from being either a tyrosine kinase inhibitor or uh, from a checkpoint inhibitor, as we just heard of the many choices that we have currently. Uh, if anything, I would like to thank you all for your contributions to this discussion. And uh, on behalf of our panel, would like to thank you for joining us. And we hope you find this peer exchange discussion to be useful and informative.